Hi guys! The Benidorm Enthusiast here with Benidorm Stuff YouTube channel. For today's video we're going to be showing you some brand new bars in Benidorm. There's lots of things going on at the moment. Places are being done up and new places are open. A positive sign that people have the confidence Benidorm will come back. So we're going to show you a few of those places in today's video. The first place I'm going to show you today is a brand new bar right at the end of Levante Beach. Hotspot Lounge Bar. It's been done out, it's nice and bright and it's a great spot to have a bite to eat or a drink. People watch and take in that fantastic view of Levante Beach. Tony, congratulations on the bar. Thank you very much. It looks fantastic. Thank you. What are your ideas for the future of Hotspot? So for the future of Hotspot, I would like to bring something new around this corner. So I have my bar in the soundproof. I'm going to put shows, DJs. I want to bring quality, what means like cocktails, beers and stuff like this. All the cocktails will, 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 will be made with uh, proper alcohol. I don't use no local stuff. Uh, all the purees, I bring the cocktail guy to show all the recipes what we have in the menu so we're gonna bring quality as well for the pizza I bring a pizza guy to do from outside just to do the pizzas so the pizza is fresh all the ingredients fresh we don't use no frozen stuff on a pizza and stuff like this we have we, we have a few small things uh, like dishes like with Romanian food because I'm Romanian I put just two three things that's it in general all the all the food is more for English people so the bar it's more for British. But nice to have the variety. Yes, I have a variety. I have pastas, I have pizzas, burgers, uh, sandwiches, all kind of food. And it's a great really. location. Thank you very much. Yeah, you have one of the best views in Benidorm in general. Absolutely. So, yeah, we're doing good. At the, at the beginning, we're doing good. We have almost one month now. So things got step by step better and better every day. Good so stuff. we we hope for the future to make a good job. And I wish you the best of luck with it all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Our next stop is a bar most of you will recognise. This used to be called the Gallagate. It's now reopened as the Twelfth Man. Similar theme, lots of sports going on here. You've got this large terrace out front which gets the sun. They've smartened up the inside and they will be having entertainment on in there. Full menu available and they've also done some work to the side terrace to make it more of a chill out lounge feel. Great addition. This is Robbie, new owner of the 12th Man. Nice to meet you. And thank you for coming down this year. So tell us, what made you uh, take the big step of upping sticks and opening a bar in Benidorm? Oh, do you know what, Luce? Um, I've had a five-year plan. I've been coming to Benidorm for years, for 20 years or more. I know a lot of people here. And I've done my research for about the last five years, you know, on different bars, whether they're up on the Rincon, whether they're in the town, whether they're in the old town. I've just done loads. It's always been my dream to have, to have a bar in Benidorm. And um, I was coming up to the retirement where I worked in, in Liverpool, back home. and. Um, and this bar came up, yeah, and it was ideal for me. It was one of the bars I'd looked at, and I was just waiting for the lease to finish and get the okay for it, yeah. And but yeah, it's uh, my five-year plan went went perfect. It really did, yeah. And I'd like to think I've done my research and got a, a good bar. Here. It's definitely a very good spot, and uh, seems to be doing all right. How has it gone since you've opened? Opening day was fantastic. Oh, I just couldn't have wished for nothing better. We had a few problems with the sound. With the, um, on the, I, I had eight acts who a bit of paint entertainers booked in. I had to cancel every one of them because of the sound. TV problems? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The town police come in, they give me so many decibels. Once the first act, and we all know Matt Fisher. Matt Fisher come down, he tried three songs, and he just said, Sorry, Robbie, I just I can't hear myself. It's just no good. So that's an, a little teething problem that we're going to iron out and hopefully have some entertainment time for. Since then, since opening day, it's been okay. It's done well. We show all the live sports, and it goes well for the football in the bar. Um, food looks good. The food is excellent. Get some really good comments off all the customers saying the food and you know, one or two, of, you know, complaints if you like. Or 
No, in, in general, really happy with the chef here and they're doing, they're doing a great job. Yeah. Good stuff. I'm, get, I'm hearing a lot of good feedback, so that's a um, great, to great for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hope it continues, Luce. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Best of luck. Thanks very much. We'll definitely be back too. Thank you, Luce. Cheers, mate. Thank you. All Thank the best. You. Our next stop is a fantastic little bar on the Yellow Brick Road. This was opened in lockdown by a lovely bubbly lady Mary and her son Ben and it's absolutely worth a visit on your next trip to Benidorm. This is the Blackpool Bar. Mary, congratulations on the Blackpool Bar. Eventually. I know, you've done a fantastic job doing it out. It's been hard work Rose. It's been hard work. But you've got it open? Yeah. What are your plans? What are your ideas? Well obviously it's the Blackpool Bar, it's not finished by a long way yet, we've still got a lot of dressing to do, but people are coming, it's not as full on as I'd like it to be. I don't think anywhere is at the moment. No, yeah, as long as you don't all come at once, we'll be fine, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's getting there and it's... So are you going to be a sports bar? Yeah, but obviously it's a Blackpool themed yeah. bar. Um, it were never going to be the Blackpool bar. It was always going to be Danny's bar. That's Ben's friend mm -hmm. that we lost. So, and we couldn't call it Danny's because there was already one here. Okay. So we went to the Blackpool theme. But yeah, we'll get there. I've got some Blackpool rock gin on its way. <laughs> and you're full of personality, so you are going to be oh, uh, the life and soul of this bar. Well, that's what I want. I want it to be fun. I want it to be a fun bar. I want people to come in and have a laugh. Let's enjoy it. So what, it's what Benidorm needs. It's yeah. what Benidorm wants. What Benidorm's all about. Yeah. But it is. And it's, a, it's only a little bar, but it's mine. Yeah. And it's I wish you all the best of luck with it. Oh, I can't wait, Thank it's you. It's going to be good. Yeah. Our last stop today is a brand new bar in the making. It's up the Cali Laundries, Rincon area and two very popular bars here, the London Bar and the Stretford End are being knocked together to create one brand new big bar called The Pub. So I'm here with David Dennis who I'm sure the majority of you lot already know. He appeared on Baggy Loving Bricks, owner of the London Bar and has now taken over next door to make it a massive new venue. Exciting! Very exciting. Very what big you, as well, isn't it? It's huge! Right. What are your plans? Uh, well, uh, when I had the London Bar, it's always been, I've always wanted to um, have next door, if you like. And when the opportunity came, uh, came around, um, a guy, uh, uh, my business partner, uh, a guy called Eddie and his wife Barbara, they've invested in it as well. And we've all, we've got it together and we've gone through. So the idea is to take down everything you can see, make it one massive great bar. Uh, we're going to do steaks in like a brasserie sort of thing. I've got one of those big barbecue things on the way. Hopefully a hog roast coming as well. Wow. I've just got a hog roast machine. Um, live entertainment, because we've got enough room now that I can actually have some of the good shows on, you know what I mean? Like the multiple people, not saying the solo shows are bad, but I can have you know, I can have any anything I want. The full production type yeah, shows, yeah. yeah. Um, so we've got the huge rowy terrace, it's 250 square metres of terrace. Yeah. And then you've got another 200 metres inside, so you're 450 metres above. Wow. So it's it's going to be top five in Benidorm size, guys. So it's, yeah, it's, it's looking great already. When, when are you planning on opening? Have you got a date? Or? Believe it or not, end of next week. What? Serious? <laughs> oh my god. I know. I know. It, it looks like it because cause we're waiting on the windows. The windows take the longest thing to get made. So we're having to tile right up to the windows and we're doing everything up to the windows. And getting it, so as soon as the windows go in, it'll be the last bit of tiles, the last bit of this, and it'll suddenly it'll all be finished yeah. in a matter of a couple of days. But at the moment, there's not one job finished. Uh -huh. And yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm going to be open in the next week. So I think it's going to be more like the 8th of October. Okay. So, and apparently there's supposed to be a rumour going around they're going to be relaxing the rules. Restrictions, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can have a like end of lockdown, new bar opening party. That'd be excellent, that'd be cool. Well, best of luck with it all. We'll definitely pop back when it's Thank uh, you very all much. done and oh. we'll see the finished result. All the rest day. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give these bars a try the next time that you're in Benidorm. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok at The Benidorm Enthusiast. Stay positive and stay safe.